y'all welcome back to my youtube channel today is sunday may 3rd and today i am going to be filming a vlog this morning i am about to head inside make myself a cup of coffee and then sit down at my computer and plan my meals for the week as well as make a grocery list because we haven't been to the store in like two plus weeks so that is the main goal for today but i don't know exactly what we're gonna get into but Let's get today started. My grocery list is pretty much complete. I'm sure I'm missing a couple of things and I'm sure we'll pick up a couple extra things at the grocery store, but I kind of have my stuff ready for the week. I've got my menu kind of, I'm sure it'll change throughout the week, but you know, I like to have a somewhat of a foundation so I can pick up some stuff at the store. Yesterday, Cody and I spent, oh, it echoes right here, but we spent a bunch of time cleaning and organizing our house. And so since our living areas and kitchen look really nice right now, I thought I would do a little tour while it looks nice. Here's the front door and then we walk into the first living area. This is more like a seating area, just kind of extra space that we didn't know what to do with. So we've got a couch, a coffee table, a side table, and then just an extra chair for our table. But I think it looks nice. I still think we need something along this wall, but that'll come at a later time. Then we'll flip around and this is where our dining room table is. We still need to paint it, but that is another project for another day. Then we walk this way and here is our kitchen. So we have these open cabinets and I don't know how I feel about those, but it does the trick for now. But our kitchen is all set up and looks good. And then this is our second living area. Cody is over here chilling on the couch playing some video games today. But we have this area that needs to go to my parents' house. And we don't know if we want to put something here or just leave it empty. And then we have our collection of wine. It looks a little bit more sophisticated here than it did in our last apartment. And then we have our media center. We got Cody just chilling on the couch. Hey y'all. And this is our fireplace where we have just some things on display. I need to go through and like really make it look nice. But for now it's kind of like a storage area. But yeah, the place. <laughs> it's looking nice. I am loving it. And Bo is eating Cooper's food. Bo, you already ate today, bud. Oh, okay, you ate it all. You have no shame. It is currently 1222 and the only thing I've had to eat today or drink today is that coffee that I made a little while ago. But I just got a call from my aunt and her daughter is doing cheerleading tryouts this week. So I'm about to head over to my parents' house in a couple minutes and meet them there. And I'm going to work on her cheers and chants with her because if you didn't know, I was a cheerleader for like five years in high school and middle school. So I know a little bit about cheerleading. So I'm going to go over there and help her with that. But first, I feel like I need to eat something. And we literally have nothing in our fridge. Nothing. That's why we need to go to the grocery store. The only thing we have is steaks and we're gonna cook those for dinner tonight. The other day I tried these La Tortilla Factory low carb tortillas and I said that they were gross, but y'all told me I need to warm them up in a skillet and they taste a lot better. So I still have some leftover burgers that we made the other day on our griddle. So I'm going to make a 
crunch wrap using a low carb tortilla with three grams of net carbs and a leftover burger patty. So basically what I'm going to do is lay this tortilla down. I'm having to hold this up so you can see what I'm doing. Put the burger cheese side up in the middle of my tortilla and I am just going to wrap the tortilla all around the burger like so. And now I'm just gonna put this little wrap. This is what it looks like, it's not that pretty. But cheese side down into this skillet and I'm just gonna let it toast on all four sides and I will have a burger crunch wrap. Simple and easy and kind of just something different than just like a lettuce wrapped burger. Which is why I like using these low carb tortillas from time to time because it just spices things up a little bit. All right, here we go. Here is my little crunch wrap. I toasted it on all sides and I'm serving it alongside a little bit of this Heinz no sugar added tomato ketchup. And I can just dip my little crunch wrap burger in the ketchup and it should be pretty darn good. We have been working on cheerleading for the past hour and a half or so, and man, am I out of shape. I am sweating. According to my Apple Watch, I've burned over 700 calories. This has been a good workout in this 90 degree heat today. We're practicing here in the garage, and I've definitely worked up a darn sweat. I guess I don't have to exercise today. This counts my exercise. Blue and white. Eagles, Eagles, let's get loud. Name the team that makes you proud. We are North. Blue and white. We are North. My mom got us this handy dandy little toy that flings the balls across the backyard. Hey Cooper, you ready? You ready? Ready? Go get it. And then they have to run really far and get nice and tired. It's great. According to my Apple Watch, I burned over a thousand calories in two and a half hours working on cheerleading. Oh my golly. I just got back to the house after being at my parents' house for about three hours and helping my cousin work on her cheerleading tryout chants and cheers. And y'all, my body already hurts. Like my shoulders hurt, my thighs hurt. My body is like, what the heck? You haven't done this in eight years and I am already hurting. So <laughs> that was fun. According to my watch, I burned like over 1100 calories in two and a half hours. So I feel like that qualifies as my workout today, all while doing it in like 90 degree heat. So I've been sweating. I feel like I did something today, but now I think Cody is next door, like partying with the neighbors or something. I'm not really sure. So I've got to go find him and then we are going to head to the grocery store and I'm sure that's a madhouse, but we need some groceries. So let's do this. I am not lying when I say I am so exhausted after doing the cheerleading that I'm going to have a little iced coffee afternoon pick me up. I just got this cute little glass jar off of Amazon because I thought it would make a cute iced coffee cup. I also ordered a cold foam milk frother so that I have the ability to make cold foam iced coffee and be like a super cool coffee girl but that has yet to show up. So I'm just going to add a little lid on. Check that out, I got me an iced coffee. Isn't this cup so cute? I love it, it's perfect for iced coffee. I'll link it down below in case you want a cute iced coffee glass, but oh my gosh, I love it. I'm going back and forth between my iced coffee and then a sip of water because I pooped. I haven't worked this hard in a long time. We just got home from the grocery store. I bought a ton of stuff, so I thought it would be a great time to do a grocery haul. Let me show you what I picked up. I grabbed quite a bit of stuff because I'm trying to avoid the grocery stores as much as possible by going, you know, once every week and a half to two weeks. So I picked up a lot of stuff. 
Let me show you what I got. We'll start out with the meat. So I got some of these cream cheese jalapeno poppers. I thought I could just throw these in the oven when we cook steak for dinner tonight. Some fajita seasoned chicken breast. A couple of different types of pork sausage to try on the griddle. Some smoked jalapeno sausage because I thought that would be good chopped up and mixed with some eggs. I got a ton of chicken breasts, so I figured I could freeze some of these and have them on hand for whenever I need them. I got a couple of pounds of ground beef, a couple of things of bacon, just because it was so good on our griddle the other day. I figured we'd do bacon pretty often. A thing of pork sausage, cream cheese, some queso, because we're gonna do fajitas at some point this week, and I thought queso would be a good addition to that. Some coconut flour, some soup for Cody, heavy whipping cream, some lunch meat, ham and turkey breast, a couple of things of frozen riced cauliflower, and two frozen mashed cauliflower, some avocado oil because this is really good to use on the griddle, some mayo, some sour cream, stevia, queso fresco to fry up in a pan, some shredded sharp cheddar cheese, some colorful bell peppers for the fajitas I'm going to make. I grabbed a couple of freezer Ziplocs because I was running out. And it's great to have these on hand in case we catch some fish and want to freeze them. So over here, here are the veggies. I got some mushrooms to go on top of the steaks, some okra, I'm gonna air fry those. Some broccoli, zucchini, green onion, yellow onion, and then per y'all's recommendations to help me with my dishwasher, I got this Finnish Rinse Aid Jet Dry. This one was highly recommended. And then y'all also told me to get Cascade Platinum. So I picked that up, picked this up, we're gonna test that out. I also needed some parchment paper, some sponges, I got some eggs, I got this to try in my laundry to make it smell nice, some I don't know, super fresh, super fun. And then some bread for Cody. So yeah, we got a ton of stuff. Now it's time for me to put all of this in the refrigerator. I hope it fits. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on dinner because I still need to run over to my aunt's house and work with my cousin for a little bit longer before her cheer tryouts in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the poppers in the oven because these take the longest to cook because I like my bacon crispy, crispy, crispy. I'm gonna pop these in a 400 degree oven until the bacon is crispy, which will probably be about 45 minutes. I'm gonna cook these Baby Bella mushrooms along with a chopped yellow onion in the skillet, get it all nice and caramelized and delicious to go on top of our steaks. Cody is gonna season up these steaks and throw them on the grill. And these are nice steaks. We got these three steaks for $18. It was like a value pack. But by my meat judging qualifications, I would just about call at least these two on the end prime steaks. So I think we got a pretty good deal. I'm gonna put a big old hunk of butter in the skillet and let it start heating up. Added in the mushrooms and onions to the skillet. Now this has just gotta start cooking down. Since there's a ton in here, it's gonna take a little while. I'm gonna throw a hunk of garlic into the veggies as well. I'm gonna season this with a little bit of this Lowry's Total Seasoning too. Cody's going ahead and throwing the steaks on the grill right now. And man, do they look good. Ooh la la. Once the veggies get to this point where pretty much all the liquid has evaporated from them cooking, I go ahead and add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce because this gives it that steakhouse flavor. So I just add a couple little thingamaroonies and we're just gonna stir it up, let it keep cooking and our steakhouse mushrooms and onions will be ready to go on our steaks. I made some loaded mashed cauliflower to go with this steak as well. Y'all have seen me make this a million times. I just use one of these frozen mashed cauliflower, cook it, and for the last minute I add cheese, sour cream, and normally bacon bits, but we don't have any of those. Super simple loaded mashed cauliflower. The steaks are done, and man oh man do they look delicious. These mushrooms and onions are done, and man, don't they look incredible, y'all? 
I just pulled the jalapeno poppers out of the oven and oh my gosh, the bacon is crispy. They are seasoned. They look so, so good. And I can guarantee you they are fire hot right now because I just pulled them out of the oven. I haven't eaten since this morning, so I am starving. And this meal looks absolutely incredible. It is time to go and feast. First off, I have to say dinner was incredible it was so delicious however i think i need to start getting a different cut of steak because i just waste way too much meat because i don't like fat on my steak it grosses me out and makes me gag so i need to start buying like fillets or like sirloins i always struggle to find like the right cut i don't know Anyways, as soon as I finished scarfing down dinner, I rode over to my aunt's house and I worked with my cousin on her cheerleading tryout stuff a little bit more. And y'all, I am pooped. My whole body hurts just from cheering a little bit today. So, at least I got in a workout, I guess. So, all was well. Delicious dinner, great evening. And now it's time to just chill with the pups and Cody and get ready for bed. Hey guys, it is the next evening. I am currently working on editing this video and I realized I forgot to film an outro. Oops. So today, it was an eventful day. We have been wanting to go fishing for days now and the weather finally was good. And then we got out there, we got a mile from the boat ramp and our boat died. So here's footage of us getting towed back in today. Yeah, kind of a sucky day. We got to do some more repairs on the boat and I'm ready to light it on fire. But <laughs> besides that, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.